What's up everyone, it's Mr. Marvel TV, and today we've got the top 10 loadouts you can be running right now in Warzone 2 and on Ashika Island after the Season 2 Reloaded update that dropped this week. Let me know what you guys think about the update in the comments below, and if you're screenshotting these loadouts, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video, because we'll also be covering here on the channel how to get the one-shot sniper for St. Paddy's Day. So we're gonna go over the top five ARs and then the top five SMGs. That way you have a lot of choices to mix and match all of these weapons. So these will be in no particular order, so make sure to use what's most comfortable to you. So if you have a favorite loadout you're using right now, make sure to drop it down in the comments below for either me to try out or for someone in the community to try out for themselves. For this first loadout, you wanna go with the Cast Off 545. You wanna run the Eclis 80 muzzle, tuned for recoil smoothness and bullet velocity. Then you go with the IG K30 barrel here, you tuned for recoil steadiness and damage range, and the AIM OPV for sight. No uh, no tuning on this left side, but you wanna tune it for far. For me, uh, if you like that sight closer to you, tune it for close, but I like far here. And then I like the FTAC Ripper under barrel for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. And then I like running the 60 round mag. If you're running this for solos, I recommend going the 45 round mag and then maybe the Krona Mini Pro Optic, but completely up to you guys. I'm absolutely loving this weapon right now. It's got very, very minimum recoil. It's really, really hard. Just, I'm, I'm loving it. And another one I like to use is the Lockman 556. The Lockman 556, basically the Grout 2.0 is what everybody's calling it. I really enjoy using it. Go with the RF Crown 50 muzzle tuned for recoil stabilization and gun kit control. Then you can go with the Lockman wrap barrel here tuned for re recoil steadiness and damage range. And then the Ammo PV4 optic tuned for far. Don't really touch this left side unless you want some more aim down sight speed. Completely up to you. I like the phase three grip here. Helps the recoil stabilization. So it's tuned it for that. And then the aiming idle stability. And then you want to go with the 60 round mag. But again, I'm loving this one as well. Again, very minimal. Recoil. Just really fun to use and looks fantastic. And then they put these gold Damascus ones in the store, which is just kind of cool. Again, it is Damascus, so. Next is the M13. This one is another gold Damascus one that I found in the store. Really cool. I think it looks good. Go with the FTAC Castle Comp uh, muzzle here, tuned for recoil stabilization and gun kick control. Then the Bruin Echelon Barrel for recoil steadiness and damage range. And then you want to go with the Edge 47 grip here, tuned for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. And then the 60 round mag along with the AIM OPV4 optic, uh, tuned for aim down sight speed here a little bit. And then the FAR uh eye position here for me and again man this m13 is just it hits it hits really hard very minimum recoil and a very high recoil game but i'm absolutely loving it for our fourth ar here the tac 56 has to be the hardest hitting ar in the game it feels like it. besides maybe the iso hemlock but man this tac 56 just absolutely shreds every time i use it but with the echolus 80 muzzle tuned for uh aim down sight speed here and bullet velocity now you can put it on recoil smoothness if you want a little less aim down sight speed but honestly this thing is insane but with the ftac ripper under barrel here tuned for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability this is built for minimum recoil so go with the high velocity ammo for damage range and bullet velocity and then the 60 round mag along with the fss combat uh grip here helps with recoil steadiness and then tune it for aiming idle stability as well again this thing has has minimum recoil and it's an absolute trip test every time i use it it's so so good and then this is honestly my top ar right now still the iso hemlock it still shreds it still has almost no recoil and you don't even have to add a barrel to it so you can really make room for any other attachment i'm absolutely loving it right now so go with the R rf crown muzzle here tuned for recoil stabilization and gun kick control and then you want to go with the ftac rip for 56 under barrel tuned for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability and then we want to go with the high velocity ammo tuned for damage range and bullet velocity here gotta go with the 45 round mag here just anything else is just not enough and then go with the aim opv4 optic uh tune this for flinch resistance gives you a little bit more accuracy and uh tune it for far again if you like that closer uh closer view definitely go with that but man the firing uh geez this is it's just it doesn't move y'all doesn't move all of this stuff not move. all right so that's it for the ars let's go with the smgs this first smg is actually a pistol it's built be an smg is that's the x13 auto pistol and i've had a lot of fun with this in solos and duos this week i wouldn't recommend it in trios or quads it's just there's not enough there's there's a lot of ammo but it just doesn't hit hard enough for me for trios and quads but solos and duos it's absolutely perfect go with the uh ft steel fire muzzle here recoil smoothness bullet velocity here and then uh the impact print barrel this is what's gonna 
keep it from being an x12 you want to bring this over to an x13 this is what does it um go with a recoil steadiness and damage range on this one and then i like the mini pro optic here i like the optic on this i don't really like the iron sights because there's not really anything go by here um so i left the tuning alone on the left side and tuned it for far and then the coach whip stock here tuned for aim walking steadiness and aiming idle stability and then the 50 round drum here really really helps uh now i would again it's tuned for uh honestly close range which is perfect right here about 10 meters right 10 meters great and then it's a little all over the place when it comes to about 20 to 30 meters so uh definitely use it close and bring out you know bring out other things for uh you know the longer ranges but this uh x13 is a lot of fun to run the next smg is the mp5 now this one got a little bit of a nerf but also it got a buff with recoil and stuff like that so it's still really really good probably jumps down to my number three or number four smg right now but um still very very viable very good uh go with the lock shot kt muzzle here with the recoil stabilization and gun kit control and then the falcon l38 barrel here tuned for aim walking speed and damage range and then with the vk uh the seven milliwatt laser here print of fire speed aim down sight speed would be just fine and now i like lockman tcg 10 uh grip here tuned for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire um and then the 40 round or 50 round drum completely up to you guys like i said it's still going to hit really hard and then minimum recoil and then of course use something else uh with to kind of uh hit the longer range shots but the mp5 is really really good especially when it comes to a mid-range smg and one of my favorite smgs to run right now is the hurricane i think it's really really underrated i don't know why more people don't use it its recoil is very very minimal it hits at a very far range and it's very very reliable to be honest and i go with a castle comp puzzle here we're going to tune that for recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability here um you could probably do gun kit control too if you wanted to completely up to you but i kind of more focus on the accuracy but uh let's tune it for gun kit control here just to uh see what happens and then go with the fss shark fin 90 uh under barrel here for recoil stabilization and aim walking speed here um the aim walking speed tuning here will help tremendously when it comes to uh, strafe speed that's why i have that set there instead of something like aiming idle stability which will give it more accuracy so aim walking speed will help you with that strafe speed which will help you in gunfights at close ranges for sure and then go with the sprint to fire speed on the fss oldie laser and aim down sight speed go ahead and max those out and then the demo quicksilver stock here um tuned for aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability and then the phantom grip here this will help you with that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed again this gun is very easy to control when it comes to recoil so tune this for recoil steadiness and sprint to fire speed and you'll be just fine like i said it's just it and it's really really good for sniper i think sniper three will go one shot and so for any for sniper support definitely gonna be your best bet i think so um keep this keep for a sniper support weapon and if you're running that one shot sniper on almazra today this hurricane is a perfect sniper support weapon uh, that one shot sniper is available on almazra as of friday um i know that for a fact for saint patty's day have fun with that that's a great sniper support weapon for you my number two smg right now i know i said these weren't in any particular order but these top two right here are gonna be my top two for sure is the pdsw this one's a uh, are starting to get talked about quite a bit more this one has a better ttk than what we're going to talk about next but i feel like it's less reliable than the one we're going to talk about but again it's still very viable very good my number two locked in for sure right now we're going to use the lock shot kt 85 muzzle go with uh tune that for recoil stabilization and gun kit control the seven milliwatt laser here for sprinter fire speed and aimed out sight speed and then we got the chrono mini pro optic i don't like the iron sights on this but that's up to you you can switch that out for maybe an under barrel or something like that if you want to but we're going to tune this for aimed out sight and far and then the hollow extended stock here tuned for aimed out sight speed and just leave this bottom one alone and then the tp tack comb comb or aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. This will help you with that, that strafe speed as well. And again, this thing is uh, mid range, a little bit harder to control mid range, but it's not bad at all. Probably not as bad as like the X13 or something like that. And then for my number one overall SMG, it's gotta be the Vaznev now. I think the Vaznev takes the top spot. It wasn't touched again, didn't get a nerf. It didn't get a buff, but it stayed and it stays consistent for me. Um, I'm absolutely loving the Vaznev right now. Uh, again, I, I've been using it for a while, but I, 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 it's good. It's just really good. We're going to go with the SA response barrel tuned for aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. Then the FSS Oldie laser for sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. Then we're going to go with the broadside FCT stock. This was a secret stock that they added 
um, not during the update, but like a week before the update that they just added randomly and it just showed up and it's actually really, really good. So uh, we're going to tune this for aim walking steadiness and aim walking speed, but like I said, it's really good. Uh, true tack grip for the rear grip and two for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire. And then the 45 round mag here, uh, whether you're running anything to be honest. So again, just a really, really solid, absolutely loving it right now. And then uh, this with the ISO. This and the Hemlock is a really, really solid, uh, solid one to run. That's it for this week's top 10 loadouts. We do have a top 10 loadout video every single week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video. We'll see you in the next one.